Earlier this week, Liz Cheney's group, Keep America Safe, put out a new web video suggesting that Justice Department lawyers previously involved in defense work for detainees share the values of Al-Qaeda. The video called these lawyers the Al-Qaeda 7 and implied they could not be trusted to uphold this nation's laws and defend its security as part of the Justice Department. Forget all the Bush military lawyers who defended terrorism defendants. Forget that the Bush Justice Department itself hired three attorneys who worked defense on terror cases. The Cheney attack is, on its face, vicious, offensive, unfounded, outrageous, and wrong. And that's just what conservatives are saying. The conservative Powerline blog, power blog used the words vicious and unfounded, quote, it is entirely inappropriate to suggest that le these lawyers share the values of terrorists. Want more? A former Bush White House lawyer, quote, the video is truly offensive. It's beyond a cheap shot to suggest that a lawyer is an Al Qaeda sympathizer because he advocates a detainee's position in the Supreme Court. The Bush assistant attorney general who led the defense against Gitmo legal challenges, quote, it's wrong to suggest that people who sought judicial review are somehow sympathetic to Al Qaeda. The Bush Pentagon's former chief prosecutor, quote, it is absolutely outrageous for the Cheney crowd to try to tar and feather them. If you zealously represent a client, there's nothing shameful about that. That's the American way. And what does it say when Bill O'Reilly won't play? I think that if you read the letter he sent to Congress, he talked about the fact that often the Department of Justice hires people who've defended white collar criminals to come in and prosecute white collar criminals. But what that tells you there is that they believe there's some similarity um, between terrorists and white collar criminals or tax cheats I'm, or I bank know robbers. About that. I, I don't and the know if that's fair. No in 2007, Bush's former Solicitor General, Ted Olson, defended detainees, detainee lawyers writing about another attorney who defended the British soldiers in the Boston Massacre case. Olson quotes the lawyer as calling his work one of the best pieces of service I ever rendered my country. Remarkable because that lawyer made his assessment after becoming President John Adams. Ted Olson co-authored that piece with one of the most prominent detainee defenders now at the Justice Department. He is the same Ted Olson who represented George W. Bush in Bush v. Gore and whose wife was killed on 9-11 on board the plane that hit the Pentagon. Let's turn now to David Korn, Washington Bureau Chief for Mother Jones Magazine and a columnist for politicsdaily.com. David, let me start by asking you why so many Bush veterans are coming out to push back on this one. I think the answer is obvious, Lawrence. They just, you know, they, they find it just offensive to common decency. You know, you also uh, left out of that very long list, John Bellinger, who was the um, legal advisor to the State Department in the Bush years. You know, he's come out against this, and it's only been a few days. I'm sure if you actually took a poll of people who worked in the Bush administration on these issues, you can find lots more. I mean, it, this is a clear case when Liz Cheney has crossed the line, and let's not just blame Liz Cheney. The other uh, board member, there are three board members of Keep America Safe. Another one is Bill Crystal, who, you know, is often on Fox, runs the Weekly Standard, and was Dan Quayle's chief of staff. You know, I haven't seen him out there swinging away at this in the last day or two, but he should be held accountable and anybody else associated with Keep America Safe. You know, I'm, in my own feeling, Liz Cheney's crossed this line so many times before <laughs> this week that, you know, that the fact that this was what it took to get responsible Republicans mm -hmm. to counter her, uh, I think is worth noting. But uh, the, the notion that lawyers, that American lawyers representing uh, constitutional positions 
and constitutional arguments in court in some way share the values of al-Qaeda. Uh, I, I haven't seen, David, what exactly the al-Qaeda judicial system is, what exactly their notion is of defendants' rights, of the right to counsel. Uh, how, how can they... It's probably, it's probably pretty similar to the uh, Cheney view now, uh, which is, you know, you, by any means necessary, and you don't put principles first. Uh, I mean, I, I, look, I think it really took a Cheney to cook up this kooky crusade here that is really offending everybody except a small circle. I still haven't seen too many conservatives right, rushing to her defense. And it, and it follows. I mean, it is an extrapolation of the Dick Cheney view that we saw again and again through the, uh, through the Bush Cheney years that what's the constitutional rights don't really matter. At the end of the day, they're niceties. We can pay lip service to them if it's convenient we can abide by them. But in tough cases, we toss them overboard and we do what we want to show our power. It reminds me of what Ed Meese once said about, about suspects. You know, he said, you know, if they weren't guilty, they wouldn't be suspects. I mean, there's just no at all uh, recognition that people picked up by these detainees, no matter what they might have done, have any rights whatsoever. That's an argument that Cheney has made with John Yu and others, more or less. And Liz Cheney is now pushing it to the extreme that people even defend them, you know, should be branded and, and tarred and feathered, as one of your one of those people said earlier at the top of the show, uh, the top of the segment, as as Al Qaeda sympathizers. It it, it 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 really, I think, is just pushed a lot of buttons, which may be good, you know, even though it took this to get people to, 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 to look at what they're doing. Um, at least people, are, I think, I think she's lost an incredible amount of credibility when she didn't have a lot to begin with. David Korn of Mother Jones, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Lawrence. Coming up, John McCain's Tea 